Acting Judge President Mchabuliseni Madondo is a contender for the position of a Judge President in KwaZulu Natal. Madondo is hoping for victory the second time around. In April this year, he was unsuccessful in applying for the same position. The Judicial Service Commission opted to leave the position vacant after some commissioners accused him of homophobia. For the Supreme Court of Appeals, there are 11 candidates, Judge Glenn Huerson being one of them. He's a struggle activist who headed the investigating unit of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. As South Africa edges towards the 2024 national elections, Judge Baratang Muchumi, who is a current judge at the Supreme Court of Appeal, will be interviewed for the position of head of the electoral court. If successful, she could be the first woman to head the institution. Meanwhile, Judge Maki Khanyaho is vying for the position of head of the High Court in Limpopo. There are three male candidates for that position. So ironically, the current Deputy Judge President Matsaru Semenya is a woman but does not feature on that list. The problem of no women uh, in the in judicial leadership has been an ongoing problem, but it has reached crisis levels at this round of interviews because we currently have no women uh, occupying a leadership position. Um, the last woman was Justice Maya, who's now Deputy uh, Chief Justice, which is a, a, not the a head of a court. Meanwhile, Judge Dibaho Jaje wants the position of Deputy Judge President of the High Court in the Northwest. She was previously a magistrate and she's also the provincial coordinator of the South African chapter of the International Association of Women Judges. The interviews are running until the 11th of October. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News in Johannesburg.